Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, August 4th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. Well, first of all, on the Internet Storm Center, I wrote up a quick diary about some issues I've seen with two-factor authentication. One problem I want to point out here as part of the podcast is where the password reset only requires the token. So that really reduces it back to one token or one factor. If you're losing your token, an attacker could easily use that token to reset your password and with that gain full access uh, to the account. Having two-factor authentication and having, uh, like in this case, a physical token will make an attack more difficult if the password is weak, but doesn't mean that you should just give up on passwords. And the rest of it really comes down to that how you're implementing two-factor authentication. If you're implementing it really depends a lot on the risk that you're trying to protect against. Of course, something like an online banking application should be better protected than like your average e-commerce application or a blog post site. And an issue I pretty much uh, see as unsolved is sort of good guidelines, uh, good practices on recovering from a stolen or lost second factor like a hardware token. Uh, I haven't really seen a, an implementation here that I really liked. And second diary was uh, today really a bit more on the lighter side, and that's a real sort of a crazy uh SMS that I received that claimed to come from a doctor uh, that was going to perform some surgery and asked for all kinds of details, including uh, pictures. I'm 99.99% sure that this is not a real doctor who just got the wrong number, uh, but that this is uh, just a fairly crazy uh, attempt at phishing or smishing, as it's sometimes called if it's involving SMS. And we got patches from Google. First of all, Google Chrome released a new update, uh, fixing a total of five high vulnerabilities and uh, two medium vulnerabilities, bringing us up to version 92.0.4515.131. And this affects all versions of Google Chrome for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and of course, also Microsoft Edge, which is based on Google Chrome. Also note that in the 93 beta and the 94 canary version of Google Chrome, Google Chrome is now experimenting with no longer displaying a lock icon next to HTTPS. The idea, and that has been sort of, Google has been moving towards this over the last few years, is it used to be that you only got a notice if you were on a secure website, that was the lock typically, and no notice at all if you were on an insecure website. Now, lately, uh, Google and other browsers added a prominent insecure designation uh, to HTTP websites. Well, uh, what Google finally wants to end up with is that HTTPS is normal. It's no longer necessarily marked in any special way, but only HTTP is specifically labeled as insecure. And uh, that's basically what they're going to work towards in Google uh, Chrome 93, 94. The problem with it, of course, is that years of uh, security awareness training is built around the idea that you're seeing that uh, lock icon. And we also got an update for Google Android from uh, Google. The only critical flaws that I've seen in this particular update affected uh, Qualcomm components. Other than that, a bunch of high vulnerabilities and as usual for Android updates, apply them as they become available for your particular phone. And if you're running Kubernetes, uh, you have more help in keeping your installation secure thanks to the US Department of Defense and the National Security Agency. The NSA did publish a lengthy hardening guide for Kubernetes. These guides typically become standards to be enforced within the Department of Defense, but are highly popular and well regarded uh, outside of even the US federal government. So for anybody who's running Kubernetes, you definitely should take a look at the guide and see if you can 
adapt this guide or a form of it in your organization. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.